So I'll just put that on the edge there. Put that on there so it doesn't fall over. Put that in there. Squeeze all of this stuff together. And if my measurements were correct, which they are, it's flush on the top and it's flush on the bottom. So with all of these components marked out with the dowel locations, I'm now going to drill the dowels using an 8mm brad point bit for an 8mm dowel, which is 38mm long. So any, any of the holes that I need to drill through the face of the panel, so into the face of the bottom in the middle there, into the face of these side panels, into the face of the rails here in the middle there, I'll drill 12 millimeters deep. You just, you just gotta make sure that the brad point on the end of the bit there doesn't go all the way through the uh, workpiece. I know that my brad point is three millimeters long to the outside tips there, so 12 mil deep plus a three mil, it's 15 mil. This is 18 mil thick, this is 19 mil thick, and these are nine, 19 mil thick, so I'm good there. Through the ends of these rails, I'm going to drill probably 28 to 30 millimeters deep just to make sure that there's plenty of clearance in there so I when it comes time to glue it up and clamp it up I don't ever want to have the situation where I've got 26 mil of dowel sticking out to fit into a hole that's only 25 millimeters deep that just ruins your day completely Alright, so I've got it dry assembled. And it took me the best part of probably 30 minutes to get it dry assembled. So that's going to be way too long to work with PVA, uh, Type Bond Original, which is what I'll be working with. So I'm going to break this assembly down into several sub-assemblies. So I've got my two vertical divider panels in there connected to four rails. That's one sub-assembly. Then I can take that sub-assembly, connect it to this lower vertical divider, as well as the bottom panel, and then I'll put my side panels onto that. Now, anywhere where there's going to be dowels sticking into the surface and just hanging out, I'm gonna glue them in first. So in the side panels, there's like 15 dowels that go, go into it to accept four rails and the bottom panel. So I'll put them in there so that I just need to put the, put the glue into the holes, into the rails, into the bottom panel, and then slap it together.
if you ever need to hammer in a dowel into the side of a vineyard MDF panel, very, very gently. Because what happens is, even though I've got a solid backing behind it, if you punch it through, you'll end up putting you'll end up putting a little dint on the outside as if something's poked through because something has poked through, it's the dowel. So you want to be real gentle. It's good when they're kind of loose, they just slide in there. So there it is, there's the carcass glued up. I'm gonna come back in about 20 minutes time and I'm going to remove this clamp from the front, put a bunch of glue on everywhere and put the face frame on there, clamp it on there and that'll be good. So I wanna run a bead of glue on the inside face. I can be fairly thick with that one because it doesn't really matter if it squeezes out inside. But then on the bead on this side, I want to be a little bit lighter. Then I just get an ice cream stick and spread it around a little bit. And then I also want to put glue on any of these front surfaces. Especially on these timber rails because I'll get a good long grain to long grain glue connection there. I think I'd be needing these. Alright, so there's one carcass for seven drawers with overlay drawers, draw fronts. It's all square, square from corner to corner, corner to corner, square across the top, square across the back, and the bottom's of, of course that's square because there's a 
solar panel in there holding it all square. So that's it there. Next video, or next week, next video, whenever, I will apply the Scotia mold around the top of this carcass. The plinth on the bottom of the carcass, I'll also flatten out the top panel and put the bullnose edge around that, put that on top of that, and then from there all I need to do is apply the, um, the draw slides in, on these walls inside there, build the drawers, stick them in there, put the overlay draw fronts on there, and then slap a coat of finish on there. Thanks for watching, see you next time.